Hello, uh, welcome to City TV. Um, for Adult Learners Week, the Learning Centre has been holding events, which has included uh, an author talk uh, with author Steve Folk, who's written books such as Starlight Conspiracy, Fight Back, Dark Woods, and many other novels, which we'll talk about in a bit. Um, so, I'm Alice and this is Steve. Welcome, Steve. Hi, Alice. Nice to be here. Um, it's lovely to have you with us. Um, and um, as you know, um, the, the college is celebrating Adult Learners Week. So we're really lucky to have you with us. Um, what we'd really like, like to know is how did you get started in writing? Well, it was really, it was uh, when I was younger, uh, writing was something I loved to do. And uh, it was something I thought was just not possible to do as a job. So I imagined that authors were the kind of these mysterious people who, who sort of appeared from nowhere and, and it wasn't something you could really do. So I never thought that uh, I would ever get to write a book. Although when I was in my 20s, I thought I'd have a go. So I had a go at writing my first novel, um, which after sort of 15 or 20,000 words, I thought was pretty terrible. And I thought, well, obviously I can't do this and kind of gave up. And I was quite disappointed because it was one of those things I'd, I'd kind of set my heart on trying to finish. Um, and what I didn't realise at the time was that first drafts often are pretty terrible and it's all about trying to tell yourself the story in the first instance and then going back and trying to make it better. Um, but it, it, after that it was such a, a kind of a difficult thing for me to do that I kind of left it for many, many years and it wasn't until I was, um, I became a teacher and then I became a head teacher and I just got this idea for a story when I was out in the countryside and I was chased by this horsefly. And I just got the idea of a kind of a Top Gun with insects type of <laughs> story, which became my first book, The Dreamwalker's Child, and that was back in 2005. That's great. Thanks, Steve. Um, so um, how did you first get published? Because that's something that a lot of people, um, although they want to write and they go on courses, they'll, they'll try to um, learn all kinds of different techniques to write. How did you actually finally get published? Well, what happened was, um, after my first kind of failed attempt all those years ago, I thought, well, I'll, I'll try and do this properly. So I bought lots of how to, how to write a novel books, lots of that kind of thing. And I spent a long time reading those rather than actually writing anything, because it was much easier. <laughs> but eventually, after I read quite a few, I thought, I had this idea for the story. And I used to get up very early in the morning, about three o'clock in the morning, and just just uh, right because I had a very young family at the time mm -hmm. and I was a head teacher of a school so I didn't have much spare time so I used to it was quite a nice time to write kind of very early in the morning when the moon is up in the treetops and you know and once you get over the initial tiredness um, it, and I did that for about 18 months and eventually once it, once it was as good as I thought I could get it I got myself something called the writer's handbook which is a big yellow book and there's all the lists of all the agents and editors in there and um, I sent it off to uh, an agency called Conville and Walsh. Uh, and they liked it, and I worked on it for a little bit more for a while. And then they sent it off to various publishers. And I can still remember really clearly, because I was about to go into assembly and take an assembly, and my secretary said, your, your agent's on the phone. And I went, oh, oh gosh, OK. So I went and talked to him, and he said, are you sitting down? And I said, why should I be? And he said, yes, there's going to be an auction for your book. And it was just such a shock that I had to ask somebody else to go and take assembly and sit down and have a cup of tea. Um, but it was a very exciting time. And uh, that, was, that was really how I first got published. That's and um, from then I wrote my first two books while I was still a head teacher. What are you writing at the moment and what are your At the moment, there's a, there's a comedy series uh, called Huey Hig about a boy called Huey Higgins. It's, it's about a kind of a, an eight-year-old boy who basically gets into all kinds of sticky situations and is always, uh, for instance, in the first book, Huey Higgins and the Shark, he's desperate to try and buy this chocolate egg, this giant chocolate egg, which he sees in the window, which is kind of slightly based on when I was younger. I did see this a giant egg in the window, this chocolate egg, and kind of fell in love with it, really. And it's all about him really wanting that and trying to find different ways of getting it. And so I'm, uh, it, it was just going to be one book, but it's turned into this kind of eight book series. So I'm just writing number seven in the series. Um, which is interesting, and there's, uh, there's one out at the moment called Huey Higgins Goes for Gold, coincidentally, in the, in the Olympic year. <laughs> the, the illustrations are great as well. There's, a, there's a, a, an artist called Emma Dodson who's done some very funny, funny pictures. And actually, that's very helpful if you're writing a series, because once I've got all the characters that she's drawn, I can stick them up along her desk and remind myself, 
you know, who they are, what they look like, and this is quite handy. Yeah. That's great. Thanks, Steve. It's been an absolute pleasure having you with us today. Pleasure. Um, and thanks very much for watching, everybody. Thanks.